Well, hello and welcome. My name is Mark Eppner. I'm a Chicago-based pilot with over half of my 2,000 plus hours in a Cirrus SR22. Currently, I fly this 2011 normally aspirated G3, but also fly other aircraft when the opportunity presents itself. I love flying every bit as much as you do and look for ways to share that common bond through multiple paths, including this channel, as well as Simple Flight Radio, which you can find at simpleflight.net. My goal for the channel is to share my passion for aviation with others that share that same sentiment and do so with an eye towards proficiency, safety, and fun. Well, hello. I'm going to have to start off with an apology. I haven't made many videos as of late, and it's not because I haven't wanted to. It's been because I've been working on a series of new videos that I think are going to be quite interesting to a lot of you. At least I hope so. But it occurred to me that most of my flying of late has been straight and level and clear blue skies. I've been trying to break in the new engine and all of a sudden this weekend happened along, which was supposed to be nice. And then I got up on Sunday and we had low ceilings, low visibility and calm skies. In other words, a perfect IFR training day. As I hadn't flown in actual IFR conditions for a while, I invited a member of our flying club to join me. I called Raj because he'd been asking questions about the Cirrus, owning a Cirrus, operating a Cirrus, so it seemed like a great time to introduce him to the airplane. He offered to handle the camera as well, which was great, but was also ready, willing, and able to be really a second set of eyes in the cockpit. I'll tell you what, he was a pleasure to fly with. So join us as we fly our return leg from Madison, Wisconsin, to our home airport, Chicago Executive. In addition to showing him and you some of my cockpit procedures, I also lean the engine using lean assist. To our non-pilots out there, when we talk about leaning, it has nothing to do with not sitting up straight, but we're referring to reducing the fuel flow to the engine, which gets us to an optimal fuel air mixture for that specific altitude and power setting. So I hope you find that interesting and the whole trip overall, because it certainly was a lot of fun for us. So with that, let's go flying. Madison Tower information, Mike 1653 Zulu, wind 010 at 10, visibility 10, ceiling 1300 broken, 2000 overcast, temperature 17, 2.14, altimeter 3019er. ILS and RNAV approaches in use, landing and departing runway 36, 32, and 3. Notice the air emissions, runway 21 glide slope is out of service. The following taxiways are closed. Delta, Foxtrot, Juliet, Bravo 2, Bravo 3, Bravo 4, Bravo between Charlie and Bravo 5. Attention all aircraft, 5G notams are in effect from Madison Airport. For further information, contact flight service frequencies. Multiple construction cranes in the vicinity of Madison Airport. Tallest crane, 195 feet, AGL. Has this weather information for Wisconsin and surrounding areas also available on flight service frequencies. Advice on initial contact, you have information, Mike. Madison Clearance, Cirrus, Niner 73, Sierra Delta, Wisconsin Aviation, with information, Mike, ready to copy, IFR to Chicago Exec. Cirrus, uh, Niner 73, Sierra Delta, Madison Clearance, cleared to the Chicago Executive Airport, direct Crenna, that's Kilo, Romeo Echo, November Alpha, direct, maintain 5,000. Departure frequency, 120.1, squawk 5315. Cirrus 973, Sierra Delta cleared to the Chicago Executive Airport. Direct Crenna, direct, maintain, I maintain 5,120.1, squawking 5315, 3 Sierra Delta. Cirrus 3 Sierra Delta, read back, correct. All right, so transponder code 5315, it's in there. Climb maintain 5,000 up here. One twenty point one is in there. Our flight plan is in there. Madison Ground, Cirrus Nine Seven Three, Sierra Delta, Wisconsin Aviation, with information rack, Mike, uh, ready to taxi IFR. Cirrus Nine Seven Three, Sierra Delta, Madison Ground, runway three two taxi via hotel. And Madison Tower, Cirrus Nine Seven Three, Sierra Tel Delta, holding short of three two at hotel, ready to go IFR. Number 973 Sierra Delta, Madison Tower, hold short, runway 32, traffic across the sound field. Hold short, uh, 32, 3 Sierra Delta.
All right, so I've got both mags, everything but landing light here. November 3, Sierra Delta, oh. amend your altitude, maintain 3,000. Turn right heading 090, runway 32, cleared for takeoff. Amend altitude, climb maintain 3,000, and to 090, cleared for takeoff 32, 3, Sierra Delta. All right. 090. Final is clear, runway is clear, we are cleared for takeoff. That'll be a uh, right turn to zero nine or zero. Full, full. Landing light coming on. Cross went right to left. Speed alive, it's in the green. Ninety knots, flaps up, yaw damper on, birds below us. Remember three Sierra Delta, contact departure. Over departure, thanks, three Sierra Delta. Madison departure, Cirrus 973, Sierra Delta 1900, climbing 3000, turning to 090. Cirrus 973, Sierra Delta, Madison departure, radar contact, climb maintain 5000, turn right, direct Crenna. Climb maintain 5000, direct Crenna, 3 Sierra Delta. I'm going to go to the engine page. To Press assist. Now it shows me peak there. I'm going to come back to the mixture now. And I'm going to start pulling back. Here, cleared to the. And we're watching this. Now, maintain BFR. It's looking for the peak. Let's see where it peaks. Continuing to pull back. Okay, it's starting to get lean. It peaked Uners. Now I'm going back rich. It'll peak again. And then start coming down. And there's where we're peak. We're going to watch that go to 100 degrees, Richard Peak. Skyline 258 Mike Echo, contact Chicago Center 125.05. 125.058 Echo. Anywhere in this range, I'm actually good. Let me just see if I nailed it. 99, there's 100, 101. I'm going to just pull it back. Delta contact, Rockford approach 121.0. 121.0, thank you, 3 Sierra Delta. All right, 98, that's good enough. So now I just hit assist again, engine, and we're 346, that's a good number, 1365. Okay, we're going to go to 121.0. Rockford approach, Sierra, uh, 973, Sierra Delta, good afternoon, 5000, direct Crenna. Uh, 973, Sierra Delta, Rockford approach, our customer 3014. 3014, 3 Delta. Wow, that was a big change. So my next frequency will be 2055, so I'm going to put that in. Maintain 4000. Set to maintain 4000, 3 Sierra Delta. All right, dial in 4 here. 3 Sierra Delta, traffic no factor. Thank you, 3 Sierra Delta. Vertical speed. And dial in 500. Foot per minute up on the PFD. Maybe get a little closer. Yeah. yeah. And now we're starting to descend, so I'm going to pull power back a little bit. Some people don't have to do that. I need to have my ATIS before I get to Crenna, uh, because right here is they're going to turn me over to Chicago when you need it. So I'm going to try and listen now yep. the way that we do that. Because I'm going to push COM2. I'm going to come back up here. Push this in that moves my flip flop arrow down here, and I push this, which will put on my squelch.
N06. Yep. So now I'm going to turn off squelch, push that back up. If you don't push this back up there, next time you hit the flip-flop, you'll flip-flop the wrong frequencies. All right, we have 100 feet to go to get to our 4,000. And we're still at 69, and our temperature stayed good. So we planned appropriately. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get uh, my descent checklist. I've just set the altimeter. Landing light I'm going to turn on now. Cabin heat and defrost to take care of. I'm on top of the fuel system, and I've just checked the brake pressure. Seatbelts and harnesses are on. Fuel pump and mixture will be managed, as does flaps and autopilot. All right. All right, so we're all set up. 120.55, 121. I got Tango, which isn't is going to change, so I'm going to queue up uh, ground now. So I have nothing else to flip-flop, or, or I mean nothing else to queue up in the radio. We must be getting some rain, I look on the windshield. There are 973 yeah. Delta Contact, Chicago Approach, 120.55. 2055, thanks for the help, 3 Sierra Delta. Good day. Chicago Approach, Cirrus 973, Sierra Delta, 4000, direct Crown of Tango. 973, Sierra Delta, Chicago, information, Tango, Sierra Chicago, executive, expect the RNAV 16 approach. We'll expect that, and we do have Tango. Okay, procedure, select approach, RNAV 16. I'm going to put in HIGU. Will be fly course reversal? No. Departure, United, 26, Minimums, two, two and a half barrel. While well, I'm doing this, I'm going to hit the autopilot. Then uh, here, what they are, I think, let's go with 910, I think it is. I can confirm, enter. I'm still flying direct to a flex, so I'm only loading this. Now, to, now the approach is loaded. And then he will give me a a vector either prior to or right after Krenna. He'll make say fly zero one zero zero or zero nine zero exit Krenna. We'll see. And at that point, I'm going to activate the approach. My mistake coming in that I did. All right. I'm going to now switch tanks. This is a nice view. You get your flight plan and you get your map. Yeah, to me it's a little bit busy. Busy. I like this to see more. Again, that situational awareness. Yeah. Because I have my scoreboard. This is where I always come back to, which reminds me. Now I'm going to put 19.9 in there, so I'm ready to go there. That United Coast 683 direct to Haigu. Direct Haigu, three Sierra Delta. Thanks. Delta, you're seven miles from Haigu, cross Haigu, at or above 3,500, cleared straight in our NF16 approach. Your best word speed, please. Haigu, at or above 3,500, cleared our NF16 straight in approach. Best forward speed, three Sierra Delta. Two whiskey fox shots. So now I have cleared for the approach. That. Your present speed. Okay, present speed, crossbow vagator above 2,500, cleared RNAV 5172 with Kipak Strike. 3 Sierra Delta, your best forward speed all the way in. Contact Executive Tower now, 119er.9er. Best forward over to Tower, 3 Sierra Delta. I hate when they do that. Executive Tower, Sirius 973, Sierra Delta, RNAV 16, just outside Haigu. Sierra 973, Sierra Delta, Executive Tower, wind 070 at Niner, runway 16, clear to land, and verify you have uh, Tango. Clear to land, 16, we do have Tango, we're going to Hangar 5. Landing with a tailwind, so we expect to float a little bit. There's 119, flaps in, I can lower the nose back now. And
runway. Yeah, damper coming off. Full rich fuel pump on. Landing light on, gas undercarriage, mixture prop and safety. Well, we're going to hear 500 as we get to the baseball fields, maybe just before that. There's 104, final notch of flap. There's my 500. I can set my normal power setting. Thirteen knots, quartering tailwind. Might float all the way down. Runway made. A little bit of a wild ride. Nice. Thank you. Again, you heard the squeak. I, I like it better <laughs> when you <laughs> Not bad with the quartering tailwind, though. Three, three, Sierra Delta. Do you continue down runway 24, 24 to hangar 56? 24 to hangar 56 with you, 3 Sierra Delta. Well, what a great flight. It always feels so good to build confidence and proficiency through practice. Today, I had the double benefit of finding a new flying buddy. My thanks to Raj for giving up his Sunday to join me in the cockpit. And of course, thanks to you for doing the same. If you like the channel, please hit the like and subscribe button. And leave me comments on how we can make the channel better, as well as suggested topics for future episodes. Until next time, blue skies and tailwinds.